Good afternoon everybody, this is Nelka again and I received one question from my um, Udemy student and this course is about how to create a parasol or stretched ceiling in Dialogs Evo and Chitan asked me about Hello mom, I have learned a lot of new things but I have some doubt how to make wallpaper stretch or parasol ceiling Please find attached link. So I will open this one. And this is what I got. So Chitan asked me how to do something like this. So it's like a skylight effect on the luminaire. So I, I know some distributor or manufacturer of this kind of luminaire. And um, yeah, you can we can do it in Barisol also. So, okay, let's see if we can do it in our Dialax Evo, this kind of effects. Alright, so Chita, let's go and let's do it. So now I open my old file. This is the one I used in my uh, Udemy course about stretch ceiling. So I created this one as a, a original IS file. This... Um, stretch ceiling or parasol effect and now what we're going to do is we will create um, a texture or material below this um, stretch ceiling and let's see if we can achieve the same effect like this one yeah this one is usually used for hospitals so the patient will be more relaxed yeah okay so let's just do it Okay, so what I'm going to do, I will move this one a little up so it will be more look like a um, similar to what uh, Chitan mentioned. And then what I'm going to do is I will add one more, um, <clears throat> one more object below it and attach those uh, skylight effects. So let's go first and remove this cutout because I have two cutouts inside this one. So I'll just delete this one and then I will extend this one in 2.3. So let's go to the elevation view. So okay, now this is my um, barisol. I just put it here. And then on that one, see now I will cast this one. So now I have a ledge, I uh, have a space here to put my um, texture similar to what Chitan showed us like this one. Okay. And then after this, I'll go to the plan view and attach one object there, maybe a, a box. Okay, like this one. And then I'll just use the same size for the barisol. And then I'll go to the elevation view and make it here and make it so thin or let's say like up to here yep okay so I can just assume the height and the thickness so now I have one object so if it's a regular calculation it will block the parasol or the LED strip inside this object so what we're going to do is we will attach a texture a sky texture like this one so let's go now to the google and let's uh, select a sky effect or sky texture so let's go and say sky texture and then i have lots of sky texture here so i will just go and select for example um, let's go and select it should have a high resolution and it should be lively <sighs> okay um, okay I will just go select this one and then I'll save this one save image as and I'll say just here I'll say just cloud okay then I'll go to my uh, Dialogs Evo and then go to the uh, materials tab and then I'll say create texture material and then I will go to my to the folder which I placed this um, texture 
Now say clouds, select clouds. And then now the cloud is here. Yes, there you go. And then I'll make this cloud transparent. So I'll just make the degree of transmission. So it depends on the texture or that kind of um, material the degree of transmission will be. So I'll go to the reflection factor as say 5%. Yes, and then the degree of transmission is only 50%. So let's just go and drag and drop. Okay, let's see how it looks. Okay, this is how it looks, but I don't like the way it looks. So I will just go and select it and then resize it. Extend up to there and then extend up to there. And then click somewhere. Okay, I think this is okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go now. And uh, so what I did is it's only 50% reflectance factor. So whatever the result of the original barisol will be reduced into 50%. So let's go now and calculate and see how it looks. Okay, calculation is done. So let's go now and check how it looks. Okay, so it's a little dim right now. And okay, don't get confused with this one right now because you will appreciate this effect later on once we ray traced it. Okay, so let's go first on the false color and see how the lux value affect the overall. See on this area now is lesser compared to the previous one because in this previous design it is bright here in this in the middle, but right now because uh, the object has been reduced into uh, the, the, lumin the luminous flux reduced into 50% off then the light will become lesser okay so let's go now and ray trace to see how it looks and if really achieve the same effect like what Chitan wants to achieve so go to your export tab now and then go to ray tracing I'll just go and select um, 1000 by 768 pixels now I'll just go and start ray tracing it and let's see how it looks so our objective is to get an effect like this one and this one and this one so those skylights okay so let's go now and check okay so it's still ray tracing right now all right so there you go it looks okay so you can see also the reflectance on the glass wow but this one i don't think this is correct so i should have removed the um reflectance value on the yeah. object so what i'm going to do i will change the direction and let's i mean the orientation of the picture and see how it goes again okay so wow it looks good so yes that is amazing look at those reflection so chitan this is possible so just do like this like what i did and you will have your amazing effect on your parasol skylight okay so if you have questions and you want to learn how i did this parasol just go to my udemy course and you will find out how i did the parasol Okay, so thank you and see you on again on the next video. Bye!